Eye of Horus, in ancient Egypt, symbol representing protection, health, and restoration. According to Egyptian myth, Horus lost his left eye in a struggle with Seth. The eye was magically restored by Hathor, and this restoration came to symbolize the process of making whole and healing. For this reason, the symbol was often used in amulets. Horus, Hor, Har, Her, or Heru, in ancient Egyptian religion, is a god in the form of a falcon whose right eye was the sun or morning star, representing power and quintessence. Quintessence which is the fifth and highest element in ancient and medieval philosophy that permeates all nature and is the substance composing the celestial bodies, the essence of a thing in its purest and most concentrated form. The most typical example or representative. The left eye of Horus was the moon or evening star, representing healing. Falcon cults, which were in evidence from late pre-dynastic times, were widespread in Egypt. Horus appeared as a local god in many places and under different names and epithets. For instance, as Harmachus, Har M Ahet meaning Horus in the horizon, Harpocrates, Har Picrad, meaning Horus the child, Harsiasis, Har Csa, Horus, meaning son of Isis, Herakt, meaning Horus of the horizon, closely associated with the sun god Ra, and, as Hererus, meaning Horus the elder. At Nekin, the conception arose that the reigning king was a manifestation of Horus. And, after Lower Egypt and Upper Egypt had been united by the kings from Nekin, this notion became a generally accepted dogma. The most important of an Egyptian king's names, the number of which grew from three in early dynastic times to five later, was his Horus name, the name that identified him with Horus. This name appeared on monuments and tombs in a rectangular frame called a Sarik. In addition to being characterized by a Horus name, the king was typically depicted with a hovering form of Horus above his head. Sometimes Horus is shown as a winged sun disc, representing the Horus of Bide, a town in the Nile River Delta where the falcon god enjoyed a cult. From the first dynasty onward, Horus and the god Seth were presented as perpetual antagonists who were reconciled in the harmony of Upper and Lower Egypt. In the myth of Osiris, who became prominent about 2350 BCE, Horus was the son of Osiris and Isis and was the nephew of Seth, Osiris's brother. When Seth murdered Osiris and contested Horus's heritage, the royal throne of Egypt, Horus became Seth's enemy. Horus eventually defeated Seth, thus avenging his father and assuming the rule. In the fight, Horus's left eye, i.e., the moon, was damaged, this being a mythical explanation of the moon's phases, and was healed by the god Thoth. The figure of the restored eye, the way at eye, became a powerful amulet. Horus is also associated, sometimes as son, sometimes as partner, with the ancient cow goddess Hathor, who is often depicted with cow's horns, sometimes with cow's ears. In the Ptolemaic period the vanquishing of Seth became a symbol of Egypt triumphing over its occupiers. At Idfu, where rebellions frequently interrupted work on the temple, a ritual drama depicting Horus as Pharaoh spearing Seth in the guise of a hippopotamus was periodically enacted. Horus was later identified by the Greeks with Apollo, and the town of Idfu was called Apollonopolis, Apollo's town, during the Greco-Roman period. Seth, also called Stek, Seech, or Set, ancient Egyptian god, patron of the 11th nome, or province, of Upper Egypt. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. Seth was represented as a composite figure, with a canine body, slanting eyes, square-tipped ears, tufted, in later representations, forked, tail, and a long, curved, pointed snout. Various animals, including aardvark, antelope, ass, camel, fennec, greyhound, jackal, jerboa, long-snouted mouse, okapi, oryx, and pig, have been suggested as the basis for his form. Because even the ancient Egyptians rendered his figure inconsistently, it is probably a mythical composite. Originally Seth was a sky god, lord of the desert, master of storms, disorder, and warfare, in general, a trickster. Seth embodied the necessary and creative element of violence and disorder within the ordered world. The vicissitudes of his cult reflect the ambivalent attitude of the Egyptians toward him, as well as the shifting political fortunes of Egypt. During the Second Dynasty, King Perubson identified himself with Seth for the first time, giving himself a Seth title instead of the traditional Horus name. His successor, Kasekamwi, gave both Horus and Seth equal prominence in his titulary, reflecting the mythical resolution of the two gods. During the rule of the Hyksos invader, Seth was worshipped at their capital, Avaris, in the northeastern Nile River Delta. Seth was esteemed as a martial god who could sow discord among Egypt's enemies. The Ramis side pharaohs, originating in the northeastern delta, ranked him among the great gods of Egypt, used his name in their personal names, Seti I and Seti II, Setnacht, and promoted the image of Seth as the protector of Re and the prow of his bark, 
slaying Re's enemy, Apophis. Seth also joined Amon, Re, and Ptah as the fourth of the principal gods of the cosmos. In myths, Seth was the brother of Osiris. There too his character was troublesome, for he was depicted as bursting out of the womb of his mother, Nut, being an unfaithful husband to his consort and sister, Nephthys, and murdering Osiris, whom he tricked into entering a chest, which he then closed and hurled into the river to be carried out to sea. After Osiris's murder, Horus was conceived miraculously by Isis, the wife and sister of Osiris. Horus struggled with Seth, who sought to dispossess him from his father's throne. This struggle forms the theme of the Ramiz side text The Contending of Horus and Seth, which borders on satire, and the later, much more somber version recorded by Plutarch, in which Seth is the embodiment of the Greek demon Typhon. After the close of the New Kingdom, as Egypt lost its empire and later its independence, and as the cult of Osiris grew in prominence, Seth was gradually ousted from the Egyptian pantheon. In the first millennium BCE his name and image were effaced from many monuments. He was now identified as a god of the eastern invaders of Egypt, including the Persians. No longer able to reconcile Seth with Horus, the Egyptians equated the former with evil and the demon Apophis, or with the Greek Typhon. Elaborate rituals of the repeated defeat of Seth as an enemy largely replaced the earlier ritual destructions of Apophis. After the close of the New Kingdom, as Egypt lost its empire and later its independence, and as the cult of Osiris grew in prominence, Seth was gradually ousted from the Egyptian pantheon. He was now identified as a god of the eastern invaders of Egypt, including the Persians. No longer able to reconcile Seth with Horus, the Egyptians equated the former with evil and the demon Apophis, or with the Greek Typhon. Elaborate rituals of the repeated defeat of Seth as an enemy largely replaced the earlier ritual destructions of Apophis. If you would like to support the channel please check out our Patreon. You would also enjoy exclusive benefits like customized merches, artifacts, shoutouts, and a whole lot more. Click link in the description to join the family by subscribing to a membership. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.